What is up? Welcome back to today's YouTube video. Happy Saturday everyone and happy college football game day. Today we got a huge college football matchup tonight under the lights in the west between two rivals who are ready to put on a show for everyone here out west. It's the number 14th ranked Utah State versus the number 18th ranked USC Trojans. The favorites for this game today are currently Utah State because they swept USC in last year's college football season and that's what kept USC from going to the playoffs. Both teams, by the way, are still alive in the playoff hook, but very well are not going to make it in my opinion. But whoever loses is technically going out and the winner will still have a slim chance to still make the college football playoffs. And we all know Utah State thinks they got an easy win today against USC. But we all know that's not true because they're gonna have to take down their rival at the quarterback position for USC, Caleb Williams, the Heisman Trophy winner and the future first overall pick in the NFL draft. I came here to watch Caleb Williams today I hope we can put on a show for everyone out there that can beat Utah State. As for myself, I am not a fan of Utah State or USC. As everyone knows, if you were to follow me on my social media, I am a diehard Georgia fan. Unfortunately, they do not play a game today, so for coming to watch Caleb Williams play ball instead. As for myself, this is not my first college football game, as it is my second ever college football game, as 14-year-old me back in 2015 went to Memphis versus the Navy in the freezing cold weather back then for that matchup and it was snowing out there and it was just a terrible experience for me and hated it. Terrible game conditions for that day. but luckily it ain't anything like that one for the because it's hot and sunny out here today in the west. And you know me, I like my hot weather and I like the sunny weather and West Coast guy, buddy. So, looking forward to this one today. And now with all that out of the way, if you guys have not already, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. The link to all those will be in the descriptions below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's college football vlog for Utah State versus USC. It's gonna be a good one out there. And we'll see who wins this one. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog, and I will see you guys at the arena.
Hope you guys enjoyed those game clips now let's talk about this game real quick let's not take long all I gotta say is USC lost to Utah State on a last-minute field goal but let's start off with the day so it's three o'clock we leave the room we sit in an uber for about 40 minutes and then we get off walk around the stadium for about 20 minutes trying to get to our gate i i um hesitate a couple minutes going trying to go through the security to get checked and then have my ticket scanned because i don't want them thinking oh i'm up to no good but anyways i was able to get through that and then next thing is use i use the restroom and then i go to my seat. I messed up finding my seat the first time because I went down a deck lower and my seat was 45. And I went to one of those sections that was like only 12 seats. So I ended up rerouting and then I was able to get to my seat the second time. But yeah, 
Great view, great day, great weather. The fans brought their magic today. And then there were, yeah, there were some U.S., there were some Utah State fans out there. So they were hyped up too. They were chanting, go use. Yeah. And then I saw a couple Steeler fans out there. People, all, all of them repping Juju Smith-Schuster and Troy Polamalu jerseys as they used to both play for USC. Yeah. I even got recognized for wearing a Steelers hat. One fan was said to me at the end of the game, go Steelers. And I was like, yes, sir. All day, every day. <laughs> yeah. The game was fun. USC started off good and then laid a neg after going up 14 to seven and then Utah proceeded to completely destroy them. At one point they went up on them 28 to 14. Caleb Williams was awful all game long. He looked like one of those community college quarterbacks, man, that are just there to get a paycheck or something. Well, I don't even know, but yeah. He only ran for one touchdown, and that was like the last touchdown they scored. He kept getting bailed out by the defense and special teams. So yeah, that's about the worst game I've seen him play in a long time. Or particularly the worst game ever that I've seen him play. But yeah. Yeah, USC was able to try to come back and take the lead back, but unfortunately, Utah had other plans. They wanted to spoil the party for USC, and they did. USC fooled themselves on the field goal that Utah kicked to win because they tried to ice them the first time, but little did they know US Utah was going to run a quick QB sneak to try to blow more time off the clock, which was only five seconds because it had... USC, Utah kicked the field goal and made it. They would have had just a second on the clock. They wanted to make sure it was completely through with triple zeros on the clock, and that's what happened. And when that field goal got kicked through and Utah won that, fans were devastated. Yeah, it was tough, man. I, I smiled through the horror I witnessed, as I said in my Instagram cap caption as well, which I just said. Yeah, I smiled through the horror. And then, yeah, we found our way out of the arena and now we end up back here. So from what I think, college football out here is definitely a lot different than it is in the south of Georgia and any other southern state. Considering there are no, well, I saw one, no, a lot of the things I saw here were not wearing like cowboy boots or overalls or had mullets. No, they just look like, average California beach boys out here. Yeah, like the guys my age. A lot of people out with their families. It was a great experience. Yeah. And that's pretty much how it went. So glad it was a great game that I witnessed. Great experience. I'd love to probably do this again one day, but we'll see. That's for another day. And now with that, that leads us to the end of this video. And we're about to end it right here. So here we go. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. The link to all those will be in the description. Thank you guys so much. For watching this vlog next up is the Steelers and Rams game the reason why I came out here to LA to witness the Steelers playing the Rams in a Super Bowl rematch from 1979 even though no one cares but yeah one of America's games of the week can't wait for that and now as I say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time